each. And we wondered just how Jamie would stand up to that sort of pressure. But my goodness me, then won the next three frames for match. But Ali here on the cusp of going within one frame of a match against Stephen Maguire for a place in the final on Sunday and Monday. The pink having to go down on the green spot won't make much difference because this now becomes frame ball for 12-8. 56. Oh, well, I'm not sure whether he could actually Ali see Carter. enough, but it didn't make any difference. The 79, more than enough to put Ali Carter within one frame of victory, leading Jamie Jones at the mid-session interval by 12 frames to eight. Well, the partition has gone back up now because the Robertson-O'Sullivan match is over. Um, we're just awaiting here at the Crucible live the return to the arena of Ali Carter and Jamie Jones. It might only be for one more frame. Jamie now at the point of no return. Five frames remaining, very much like uh, Neil Robertson at the same stage, needing to win all five. And this is going to be a real test of Jamie Jones's temperament. Can he do it? Ali's such a solid match player, and it's good to see him back to form after the off-table tribulations that he has had with the ongoing uh, medical problem that he has had for quite a few years, really. Crohn's disease, a, a very debilitating intestinal problem. But that all seems, for the moment anyway, to be behind him. Let's hope so. Here's the draw, then with Stephen Maguire and Matthew Stevens already through. We've not put Ronnie O'Sullivan's name there, but we have put his result in, you can see there, 13 frames to 10, so his name should be just above Matthew Stevens. And, of course, Stephen Maguire awaiting either Jamie Jones or Ali Carter. Ali's got to be the favourite now at this stage, 12 frames to 8, as he and Jamie Jones return to the arena. Well, is it going to be just one more frame, or can Jamie Jones find something else from somewhere? Ali Carter to break. Frame 21, then, of a possible 25. Ali will be hoping it goes not much further. I think everybody here at the Crucible would love to see it go further. It's been great entertainment. A whole string of breaks from both of them. Three big centuries from Jamie. I've lost count of the number of half centuries Ali's had. I'll do that in a minute. Nine it is, actually, plus a couple of 40 odds. Some distance out, it has to be said. I'm not sure that he has left anything for Ali. Seemed OK, first mm. glance. Nothing to the middle, nothing to the corner. Wonderful third, isn't it? Yes, and tomorrow, as we've said a few times, tomorrow it's the beginning of the last five days of the one-table situation. 
suddenly the players who are in the semi-finals find they've got loads of room. Well, that red has bounced sufficiently off this cushion to give Jamie another long-range chance. Nice one. Oh, dear. One. That's unlucky. He was always going to be going at that angle. I thought he might just drop it in dead weight. Just caught the red the wrong side, if anything. Thank you. Brown ball. Brown ball nominated. Now he's gone round it. Foul. And the miss. Jamie Jones won. Well, that's surely going back. Yeah. I'm surprised he's playing the brown here because if he hits it four ball, he'll leave this red on the right hand side. If he plays the yellow, with a lot more side on the white, he could just uh, block things. Brown ball. It's brown again. A slight adjustment then. Not too much. That's better. Well done. Yeah, he wanted the glancing blow, really, to set the, take the white towards the back cushion. The, he's given Ali a, a little tempter here on the left hand uh, sorry, on the right hand side, I should say, but he's not interested. Not at this stage. He wants a concrete uh, chance. Can't blame him. It's a good shot. Fortunate. Well, as you can see, it was dead straight. It needed perfect cueing to just drop it in like that. And this is cuttable for Ali. It might be flying into the reds, though. Well, he's taking this one to the yellow pocket. Shot. Good shot. The brown down there waiting. One. Well, we know Peter Ebden, former world champion, is here in Ali's corner and uh, getting him psyched up. And whatever he's doing, he's doing a good job. <laughs> no doubt about that. Yes, I can't wait now for the next time that uh, Ali Carter and Peter Ebden meet across the table. Well, he probably won't speak to each other for several weeks before. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be refusing his text messages and his phone calls. <laughs> Meantime, Ali is in here. Six. Thirteen. Fourteen. So just two more loose reds One. and then a little bit of loosening up to do. Twenty-two. 
Well, I think this is the time to do it, Mike. Yeah, you can play this with a lot of backspin, knowing that that red is available on the right-hand side. He just needs to catch the right-hand side of the pack here as we look, rather than the left. If he hits that red above the black, about half ball, that would be perfect. Well, he's gone with the gentle cannon. He's nudged one out. That surprised me. He's going to pick them off here and just build a lead. And why not? It's the frame he needs to put himself into the semi-finals. I thought he might have gone in with a little bit more than that, though. The only danger with that shot was if he'd gone the left-hand side of the pack, he might have covered everything. But there's still two reds here that can be potted. 30. Well, he hasn't had a great season, Ali, but he's come here fired up. Yes, when the uh, rankings were finalised for the World Championship itself, he was still in the top 16, but it wasn't long so. after that that his continued run of disappointing results caused him to drop to number 17. Meantime, Jamie Jones here, who could well be on his way out of this championship after a great debut. He, for next season, will be in the top 32 for the first time in his career. 38. Well, that's run away a little bit far from the black. <coughs> Still potable, of course. And that red on the left-hand side of the cluster, well, it will go down into the green pocket. Just goes past the pink and the green. Well, I think Ali's just uh, settled for a 48 point lead and 45. he's going to just play a safety hit. Mm. Showing a degree of discipline and patience there, then. some cover here. I think he might just get it behind the yellow. Hmm. A little fortunate. <clears throat> well, he was just looking at that red left of the pink, see if it went through the gap. There's a shot to nothing. Well, somehow he's got to either cover this red over the corner pocket or shift it. He's thinking cushion first. It's a long way from the pocket, Mike. That's a very, very difficult shot. Quarter ball contact, he might chip it in. I don't know whether he's got much choice. Well, at least he'd shift it, but I fear that if he does, he might find himself leaving Jamie with another red on somewhere. Cushion first it is then. Yes, but not at pace, just for the safety. Mm. Again, the mark of an experienced player, that. I just wonder whether Jamie would fancy taking this on down the cushion. Oh. The black goes. <laughs> Big shot again. Well, here we go. He is doing it. He is too. You know, he's got it. Oh, it's I close. think he's got it. Good oh. shot. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> what a bottle to set that on at that stage. 
That's a tremendous shot under pressure. Just them open. I bet Ali Kaiser couldn't believe it. Well, I, he, I bet he was hoping he was going to take it on, but he couldn't believe it when it went in. No, that was uh, a shot that deserved to win a frame, and it might yet. No. Little cannon into the two reds near the pink would be perfect. And they're all there. Just got a slightly difficult one on the side cushion, but it's potable. But what a red to get in. Ooh. Oh. Well, he's still got the one to the left middle. 16. Yes, wanted to really catch them together. Something. What a red that was to take down this black cushion, this stage of the match. Well, pretty well any time, but particularly given the state of the uh, the game. Nineteen. Still a lot to do here, and the pressure is on. But he's handled the pressure very well this week. You're absolutely right, Mike, he has. That's one of the reasons why everybody's been so impressed with him. Not this time. But the white's come through, and the red's gone away from the pocket, so nothing easy left for Ali at all. That's a pretty good shot. I just wonder whether Jamie might be tempted with this red into the yellow pocket, but take the white far enough down to uh, to not leave anything on. I think if he gets the white beyond the blue spot, he'll cover the one down to the end of the table. Looks a little bit wide. And it hasn't come away from the pocket. The chance then for Ali to resume his scoring here and get closer to the finishing line. Yeah, I think that was worth a shout actually there from Jamie because at the end of the day he couldn't leave anything out except this one. But um, if he'd gone in, he'd give himself a chance to get back into the match. Mm, it might have gone now. Good shot with the rest from Ali, that one. the easier shot after that red with the rest to one well that is so careless to take your eye off the pot especially with a 30 point lead okay, in the frame you need to uh, to get himself into the semi-finals Reprieve then for Ali Carter and another chance to nail it. Well, the pressure is on here. And it's obvious that both both players are fitting it. I think it might have gone now. But 
if he should go down to defeat here, he will come out of this debut at the Crucible with enormous credit. And many people who didn't know the name of Jamie Jones before will certainly know it and remember it. Oh, he could have hit that a little bit harder. This isn't the easiest of shots. <coughs> well, and I don't think he's got the angle to nudge that red off the side cushion. Looks a little bit wide. He'll have to go down for the one at the top. Well, that's in bulk. This is we also, we'll call this the top end of the table, don't we? The top cushion. Yes, the top end of the table is the black end of the table. No. The bottom end of the table is at the top of our television screens. Yeah. Yes, very confusing. I know, folks, but. All people who follow the game of snooker know what it is. Oh, you see, that, it, it was the previous oh, shot, the red. He, he didn't play it hard enough. He what? gave himself too much to do. Why did he play the cannon? Why didn't he just go down for the one down the table? He didn't well, have to play that cannon. I agree with you. He should have just gone down for that red at the That's other enough. end of the table. So both of them, as you say, Mike, they are both feeling the pressure here. Understandable. of the plan. Now, will Jamie fancy cutting this red into the left middle? It's not easy. Oh, that was an awful shot for Mali Carter. Yeah. It's two in a row. Remember the blue he just missed into the middle pocket? One. So, another chance for Jamie Jones to keep his hopes alive. Well, again, there's not a difficult ball on the table, but uh, this is all about holding yourself together. Nine. Sixteen. Needs to make sure he gets the right angle on the black off this red for going all the way down to the yellow. 17. Mm, I think he's got just the slightest of angles. He could have done with a bit more. Mm, it, looks, it looks fairly straight. He's going to really have to put some action into this backspin and left-hand side. He's got a little bit of angle, but not much. But he had enough. Seven points behind now. He's going to need up to include in the pink here. Oh, he struck that well. He struck that beautifully. Just screw the white back. He's thinking that side, but I think bring it this side of the pink. And the nice to do is drop. Well, if he leaves himself fairly straight on the blue, he's got the pink to the green pocket. Make it as simple as possible, I suppose, at this stage. Just blue and pink required then to take us into another frame. how I envisaged him finishing on the pink but the way he's queuing you'd fancy him to get this one no problem well done Jamie Jones in to keep himself together Ali had two 
good chances in that frame and he played two very bad shots particularly the blue into the middle pocket after that 45 that he'd got earlier so he sees that one go Jamie Jones gets one 12 frames to nine still an uphill task for the Welshman Ali Carter still favorite Amongst Europe's legions of teenage footballers, these are the chosen ones. But now comes the big test. Now they have to perform on the international stage. Friday at 1400, the Under-17 European Championship from Slovenia on Eurosport. Welcome back. As we look at some of the shots, so one in particular there from the last frame which Ali played and he saw that one go away he played one or two curious shots in that frame after he got comfortably ahead remember he had a 45 break a little bit earlier on in that frame but uh, it's gone now and Jamie is still alive in Game this match frame 22. Jamie Jones to break that to go on a bit it hasn't done so an opportunity for Jamie to open the proceedings in this 22nd frame Well, same as what Neil Robertson was trying to do against Ronnie. Just keep chipping away and see what happens. Let's not forget that Ali Carter was in this position in his previous round against Jim Trump, 12-9 behind, 113-12. It would be sensational, though, if Jamie Jones came back from 12-8 to win this against such an experienced match player as Ali mm. Carter. Yeah, of course, it would be a, a more frame, of course. Oh. He's played that well. He's played that very well. Even when behind, this man has shown great self-belief. Remember how his nerve held up so well in his last match when Andrew Higginson came back from 10-6 to square it all at 10 apiece. And this fellow then rattled off the next three for victory. Where's that one more frame coming from, Ali? Well, he played some awful shots towards the end of that last frame. Needs to refocus, but uh, he might not get another chance here in this one. I 
as we mentioned already, Jamie has certainly shown his strength of character this week when needed. Yes, yeah, so and lots of the regular snooker followers have been mighty impressed with this young man, me included. They've played each other a couple of times before these two, by the way. One match each. <coughs> He's just landed at an angle on this red. He wanted to be straighter on it to go through for the black. I don't think that pink goes. Well, perhaps it might. In that first uh, look on that camera angle, it didn't look like it went past that red. Well, yes, it will. The actual red is the other side of the pink, so it's OK. Well played. Yet. Certainly pops well under pressure, Mike. Remember that incredibly mm. difficult red that he took on down this black cushion in the last frame. An awkward angle all the way along the rail. Yeah, he didn't quite win the frame from that visit, well, though. He, he gave Ali another couple of chances after that, mm. but Ali messed up. But uh, this is good stuff under these circumstances. to run on a little bit. 56. Could have done another two or three inches on that cue ball there. His seventh half century. But let's not forget that three of those he converted into big centuries, including his highest to date here at the Crucible on his debut of that 138 in frame 11 which, may I remind you, was quickly followed by a 1-3-2 in the next frame. Devastating stuff. Well, <laughs> two, two total clearances. You can do nothing about that. Oh! oh we wanted the cannon. 64. Well, you can still chip this red in. But any contact on the pink there, and it would have been OK. And he's not quite over the line here. He only wanted one more ruler, um, red with the colour. Jamie Jones, 64. Well, he's made 64, but it's not a great safety shot. <laughs> he's given Ali Carter an immediate chance here to counter. We should have made sure he got things tight there. Only 64 on the lead, there's still 75 on the table. Yes, one good shot, and Ali could be right back in this frame for frame and match. Oh. Great pot. That's okay, he's on the blue, and he hasn't really pushed the black safe, it's still potable. Great red. Yeah, the amazing thing is that Ali actually contrived to miss a blue, only very slightly different from this one. Uh, no mistake this time, but he's not got the cannon that he wanted. I don't think he can see that red to the right of the three, or can he? Six. No, he can't. Again, that's careless. And he's put the blue fairly safe, which uh, he didn't need. Should have made sure we played a, a good safety shot there. Mm. 
doesn't get any easier when you're looking for that one frame to get over the winning line. It's sometimes the hardest frame to win, Mike. I've seen it so many times. This fella doesn't lose his bottle under pressure, does he? He was unlucky there, actually. He's got to clip off two reds and just finished with the white on the top cushion. But that was frame ball. Pink ball. Well, actually, it's not. Yeah, because there's 59 in the frame, 59 on. He's just rechecking the scoreboard here. He could do with putting something safe, or he could play the pink to the middle. And the black's in the open for Ali Carter if he gets a chance. He's gone for the pink and it looks very good. Oh! Well, it's not bad. It'll take second prize. Well, two bonuses there. He's got the pink safe and he's got the snooker. Ali I think might Ali concede. might concede. Yes, indeed he has. So the 64 earlier proved enough. Um, from 12-8, it's now gone 12-10. And there's two of the five Jamie Jones needs to turn this scoreline around and keep the magic going. 12-10, Ali leads. Well, this is getting very, very nervy. It's gone exactly the same in the last few frames as the Ronnie O'Sullivan Neil Robertson match, Mike. The underdog getting two back when needing five. But uh, in Ron O'Sullivan's case, he then got the next one to finish frame and match. I wonder whether Ali Carter will do the same in frame 23. Tell you what, nobody's leaving here till this match is over, that's for sure. Well, I want the therapy if they do. <laughs> <laughs> this is turning out to be a very good match. It is indeed. Very, very watchable. Just a reminder, in case you have just switched on, Ronnie O'Sullivan earlier beat Neil Robertson by 13 frames to 10 and will now meet Matthew Stevens, the earlier victor over Ryan Day, for a place in the final. Stephen Maguire waiting for the winner of this match. Thank you. Frame 23, Ali Carter to break. Frame 23, then, of a possible 25. Have been disastrous if that had gone in, especially with that red up the table. Well, the pressure just turning a little bit here, so it's beginning to come back onto Ali Carter, so it's he now that has to respond. You know what they say, you prefer to have the look at the end of the match rather at the beginning. Yes. Ali Carter, I doubt, is very amused. <laughs> he, he knows he got away with that one. Ali could be taking this on down the cushion. Well, at least he's shifted the red. He's got a good cue ball. That's a pretty good shot from where he was. Yes. He has left the red on, although he's got the white tight to the back cushion. Yeah, it's a little tap on the table from Jamie Jones, knowing that that really was a clever shot but uh, the Essex man still looking for that one frame Well, 
It's a good job he played that white where he did. Otherwise, Ali would have pounced on that red uh, over the middle pocket. Could be taking this one down into the green pocket back for the black. Shot. Terrific what? shot. Pity that he's so close to the black, but what a red. Ali Carter one. one possibility. Let's stick it it right though. It would obviously stop Ali from having a go at the red over the middle pocket. But Jamie's seen something a little different. It's going the other way. Needs to hide that red behind the yellow. Well, it looks a pretty good shot at first glance. <coughs> oh, well, there you go. You can see it. Just shows you, doesn't it? <laughs> Camera angles. Yes. From where we are, that looks like the yellow's done its job. Here you see there's actually bags of room. Not easy though. Not oh, oh. took it into the corner instead. That was two oh. terrific shots that Ali's played in the last couple of moments. One into the green pocket and now one into this left right corner. Look at this again. What a shot. You know, when we go down to one table tomorrow, I think the cameraman be thinking it'd be like taking a straight jacket off. They'll have that oh. much they'll have that much room. <laughs> <laughs> Carter one. Two great reds for very little, re well, no return. Score on the door, two points to nil. Doesn't want to hit the yellow. Oh. <laughs> mm. That could be disastrous. After all the effort as well of the last half an hour or so. One. Mm, I think the pink spot is covered, so Ali could get onto the pink at some stage, put it onto the black spot, that would help. Mm. He's thinking after all the hard work, have I just thrown this away? Six. All three debutants this year, Jamie Jones, David Gilbert and Xiao Yu Peng, won their opening matches, putting out seeds in the process, but Jamie Jones was the only one to come through this far. And win or lose, so, Mike, he will come out of this with enormous credit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Here's a chance for the usually very workmanlike Ali Carter to close this match down. I think the pink goes on to the black spot. 13. Yes, and available into both corners, so this is an excellent chance for Ali now. 
And I think 14. he's got to take this because the pressure would really come on then. It's like that interview we saw with Stephen Hendry in one of his World Championship finals. He knew that he had that chance and he, he said he had to take it, otherwise he knew he would be right under the cosh. And he did so. Can Ali do the same here? Put himself into the last four. Stephen Maguire awaits. He's just under hit that slightly. He's the wrong side of the red, which means he'll have to go down for the blue. Well, he used one of the reds to hold for the pink. Well, this is missable. This is a big shot now. Well, he, he was hoping to bring the white a little bit further to the left than that, but uh, this is massive. Well, he's taken on two reds in the previous, uh, sorry, right at the start of this frame, two terrific reds and got them from almost impossible looking angles. Didn't get colours with them, but <laughs> it just shows he's seeing the pockets well. Here we go again. Yep, he's not very happy. Well, if he doesn't fancy it, play away. You can see the blue, play the safety. Big shot, this. Big shot. Mm, miles away. Did he go for it? Oh, I wonder. That's what I was thinking. He might not have done, actually. I think that was intended, that safety shot. He was all thinking about the cut, but he couldn't get the cue in there with that red, no. so I think he possibly did play that shot. One of the best shots to nothing, as we call them, I've seen for a while. Well picked out, right in the heart of the pocket, knowing the green was there waiting. Great shot. Now, he's got an angle off this green to come back up the table. A little bit of right-hand side on the cue ball to help it back up here for the next red. Very well. Pink and black out of commission, though. We'll have to concentrate on the blue for the time being, but he won't mind that. If he can win this frame from blues, that's fair enough. You can win a frame from yellows, Mike, if you get 15 reds, 15 yellows. Little fish sometimes are very sweet. Now well, then, he's looked at this two or three times. Does it go past the other red? Ooh. Well, that, that's too risky, considering he's got an easy pot on the other side. Five. I must say that this young man's potting has held up incredibly well under pressure. I tell you, he's playing as well as any top 16 player. He's officially number 36, although uh, he actually came into this tournament at 33. And having got here to the quarterfinals, he's now somewhere around number 27, I think, in the very provisional list. Uh, 29, actually. Thanks, Mike. Just showing me the latest very provisional rankings. 11. But that's great news for him because uh, next season he will only need to play one qualifying match for the major tournaments instead of two. More chances to get into the tournament proper and appear before us on the 
uh, the tele in the televised stage of a tournament. Yeah, Ryan Dunn, Ryan Day has done exactly the same thing as well. He's had a good week, although he lost uh, pretty convincingly in the end to Matthew Stevens, 13-5. He's back into the top 16. 32. But um, we do know now that uh, a migraine came on yesterday when he had that uh, loss of eight straight frames. That doesn't help, does it? No, we didn't know that at the time. Mm. Uh, we wondered why he was playing so poorly, but now we do know. And that's an awful thing to happen to anyone. Ooh. Well, that was a long way out, and that was not uh, part of the plan. And for once, his queuing did let him down. Let's have another look at this. Ooh, dear, dear, dear. Now then, Ali, can you take this opportunity that Jamie Jones has presented you with? One. It'd give for another half century now. Well, he can put himself into snooker's required stage for Jamie without that red on the top cushion. Four pinks would be okay. Seven. Williams is checking this pink spot. It would really help if it went onto the black. But there might be room there. <coughs> 13. Well, that's made a difference. Can you screw back into the red and pink here? I don't know if he's got the angle. Well, he tried it. 14. Now, will he play on the open red? Or just notice this one open there, the pink. I think this is an ideal opportunity to go for the cannon here, Mike. A nice, gentle little cannon onto that red with the pink. Ooh. Well, I don't think he played no. the cannon. I think he deliberately played on. What he's going to do is pop this one, go back for the blue, and then play the cannon. Yeah. Get rid of this red first, get an extra six points. If he'd gone for the cannon, he would have got it. There's no question. He did play what you've just said, Mike. Well, there was another red available. He didn't want to lose the chance of uh, putting points on the board. Quite. Back for the blue once more, though. That well. Ooh, look at that. Now that again has given him the perfect angle, and this time surely he will, off the blue, attempt to split that red and pink. And if he gets this right, Mike, it should be frame and match. Well, he's just checked the scoreboard. He's 27 the lead. This makes it 32. So red and one more colour, and he's just about there. No, he's pushed it safe. Uh -huh. Needed to hit red and pink more or less together. Well, anything but that, anything mm. but full ball. That's Gosh. a great shot. Well, look at the safety he's got there. Great shot. 
Well, that's a great visit from Ali because he's under a little bit of pressure here from the young man. And, you know, he's the more established star, but you still have to produce the goods, you know. Just look at this. Anything but that. But he's played a good safety. Oh, that's a good safety. <laughs> Can you don't go in there? Ooh. Oh, he's oh, taken well, 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 that's unbelievable. Well, well, well. <laughs> Look at how he's, uh, <laughs> what he's going. Why me? Why has it always happened to me? That is unbelievable. Seven, no, no, please. For a moment, I thought the white was going to drop, in which case Ali, of course, wouldn't have been in this bother. <laughs> a little smile from Jamie Jones. Look at this, folks. Angled by the, ang the corner of the pocket. Now, is that going to be the black? Oh, and I miss. Jamie Jones, seven, free ball. Free ball. Oh. Going back. The check on the black for me, please, Ali. Ali. A little bit further away. Okay. Further away. Got to get this right because it does make a difference coming off that side cushion. It was in the pocket. <laughs> this is the most awful thing when you're angled like this. Nah, so I've went in on a bit, does it? You think it was closer to the pocket? That's it. Yeah. Okay, well, you'd better look at me anyway. How's that? Well, he's just got to keep his discipline here, uh, Ali. You know, he's still got a 25-point lead. If you can just get dead weight onto these reds, that's fine. We're well, going twice across now. That's a little bit wide. It's a lot wide. Oh, Guess what? That's going Jimmy back. Jimmy four. Yes. But at least that way, he doesn't hit the black. Only four points instead of seven. But somehow or other, he's got to get the right angle here. Well, I don't think he can. I think the blue's in the way. Yes, I think so, too. I think he should go back to the uh, original plan, just make a slight adjustment and hope this time he doesn't hit the black. Well, Ali's got to forget about what's gone on here with regards to the angle. He's got to really think about what's going on. Well, that's miles away. He's got to really think about what's going on here. Now, he could lose the plot if he's not careful. Oh, miss. He's still got a chance of winning this frame Jimmy and the match, put himself into the semi-finals. Yes, it's very easy for Ali in this situation to get a little bit cross and frustrated and then as you say Mike he, he loses the plot that's three attempts he's had attempt number four coming up very unfortunate that the cue ball finished there most unusual well it's amazing this game what it throws up again just when you think you've seen it all something else uh, something else happens like this you know that was it was a fraction away from dropping into that pocket, probably you would have let Jamie play again, messed up the safety, you might have been in the semi-finals now. <laughs> Incredible. A swerve? Oh, surely not. Oh, it's not bad, it's not bad. Oh! oh. Would you believe that? Give me drawings four. <laughs> Guess where that's going. Well, that was the fourth attempt, and that's actually the nearest he's been. Yeah, that was so close. And he actually swerved it a fraction too much. Well, now he knows, Mike, that he can do it. And I think he'll probably try the same again on attempt number five. It's rolling back up all the time. Is it OK? Same again, I feel. Yeah. Not quite as much spin this time. That looks OK. Well done. Well, he's just moved the red out as possible. He wanted a thinner contact on that red, really. Just a smidgen. This red is on, but just Jamie take it on. He's done well there, Ali. He still, he still leads by 13, and this is a big shot. If Jamie takes it on, he's bound to be moving the other red and possibly the black.
Oh, this is massive. Oh, look at that. And look where he's put the black as well. Well, oh. well. well he can't escape this one, can he? Well, his middle name appears to be Houdini. Never name my child that. Well, I'll tell you what, if Jamie wins this frame from here, Eight. that man there's going to be absolutely gutted. He's going to go out after the, have to go out, I think, to get himself together. His head could be in bits. Oh, was that a kick? Was that a bad contact or was it just the pressure? Jamie Jones eight. And I think Ali can get past the blue. Yeah, I'm not sure whether you can see the potting angle, though. No, he can't. Once again, the different camera down, angle please. shows a totally different scenario. Well, two cushions just push the red up the table here. That's a great shot. Contacted it well. I'm sure he's happy to be able to play that shot. He could have been going into another frame. Amazing, isn't it? Well, he was a red and a colour away from being in the semi-finals about five minutes or so ago. Now he's only five points ahead. Still 35 on. Me. That's outrageous. That is unbelievable. You just don't take those on. And you see Alex laughing, he's smiling in his chair there. Cannot believe he's taken that on. I thought it had to be up and down for the safety. He cannot believe that. Well, if Jamie wins this frame, what a massive psychological blow this will be to Ali Carter. Just look at Six, this. Some shot. Oh. Given the match situation, Mike, some shot. He's still got a bit to do here, though. He needs green, brown and blue to take us into yet another frame. Remember, he was 12-8 behind. <laughs> Just brown and blue needed. I don't think this young man has any nerves at all. Well, Pretty this quiet. is unbelievable. I mean, the red. That red was. Just the red was incredible. Absolutely amazing. Twenty. It's going to be twelve, eleven. Well, every credit. Well done, sir. Well done. I know that uh, when he got the white in the jaws of the green pocket to angle Ali, that was a little fortuitous. But even so, there were still some amazing shots in there. And so Ali has seen his lead of 12-8 reduced to 12-11. Three frames down, two to go. Can the impossible happen? <sighs> We're going to take a break. I think you should all take a little breather too. <laughs> and join us in a moment for frame 24. This program is brought to you by Aspire Academy. Inspired by Aspire. Discover this month's great sporting events available on the Eurosport Player mobile application. So you don't miss out on any of the action, the mobile app gives you full live streaming access to Eurosport and Eurosport 2. Watch your favourite sports and stay connected when you're on the move. Because sport never stops, Eurosport Player is also available on Mac and PC. Eurosport Player. All sports, all emotions. This program is brought to you by Aspire Academy. Inspired by Aspire. 
Welcome back to the Crucible Theatre here in Sheffield, where the drama of this quarter-final is reaching its climax here. We thought it was going to be all over some time ago when Ali was leading 12-8. Had a wonderful chance to clinch it in the last frame when he was just one red and the colour away from winning, but then found himself angled by Jamie Jones, took five attempts to get out of it, and then some wonderful potting by Jamie whose nerve has not failed him at all. So he's still in here at 12.11 now from 12.8. And at 12.8, Ali must have thought, oh, surely I'm going to win this. But uh, I reckon that the nerves must be just a flutter a little with Ali, seeing three frames go. And this young man here just doesn't seem to have any nerves at all. There's two races at the back of the pack there. There's some distance between them, but I wonder whether Jamie's seen them. Actually, it's a, a possible plant and a shot to nothing. It looks like he's taken this one on to the right corner. Oof. Just depends where things finish. Well, I think this red might pass the black, but there's also the one above the black that will go. I think Jamie just pushed the boat out there a little bit. I think he should have just studied what was going on, played a good safety, but that red will pass the black. Well, after everything that's gone on in the last frame, can Ali Carter just hold himself together here? For one last push and make a good break. I don't know how he's feeling, but... Didn't quite come off that red as intended. Wanted a thinner contact. But that red that Jamie knocked in the last frame was unbelievable. Ali Carter eight. Well, you've got to give this lad some credit. He's got some bottle.
Well, do take that one on. And after that last red, well, the red in the last frame, I'm not quite sure what he's going to play here. There was some pot he made. Could be going to the corner, actually. And he's played with the element of safety. That. Is he thinking it ran off a little from right to left? I think that's drifted slightly. Well, I think that's drifted. Oh, without a doubt, Mike. Now, was that? Did he inadvertently put some side on the? No, no, well, that's gone a long so. way. Actually, that's a gone a long, long way. way. Might have gone over a finger mark, but uh, it's moved, and it's left this red on to the right middle. Well now, will that shot by Ali ultimately proved to be his last? That was a very strange uh, outcome. Well, these tables have played superbly all week, but I think that's definitely moved. Eight. It is again. Look at that. Woo. Yes, you know, Mike, you mentioned a finger mark. It did seem to suddenly go from right to left, and that would suggest a finger Nine. mark. And you know, folks, uh, whilst these cloths are fairly thin these days, when <laughs> players really try to grip the cloth, Cliff Thorburn was great at doing that. You could always see where he'd been. They do tend to make these little indentations. And I think that's what happened there, Mike. Could prove costly. Mm. Ah. Well, he's still got one to the right corner, but uh, 16. Difficult to get position on the colour from it. Now his concern is the one over the middle. <laughs> I don't think there's any plants on there either to the opposite middle pocket. And a little bit unlucky there. While he's thinking about taking this on, it's quite difficult to get safe from, actually. Well, he's had a look at the potting angle, so that tells you he's taking this on. Big shot. He's not shied away from them before. Well, if he powers it in, there's a good chance of the white going through those reds and maybe down for a bulk colour, brown or green. No, sir. Jamie Jones, 16. Well, he took quite a gamble there, didn't he? It was never easy. Plus point for Jamie is that uh, off this red to the middle, and he can't get onto the black into the right corner. Yeah, he'll be probably looking to come around the back of it to the opposite one, though. Yes, that's the plan. Oh, he's hit that too hard. One. Much too hard. Well, this is a big shot if he takes this oh. on from there. The adrenaline is flowing. Yes, and it's probably getting to Ali a little, I would think, at this stage. Well, this is a big shot. Oh. 
Well played. Well played. Eight. Kept himself uh, perfectly still there when he delivered the cue. Well, again, I think this now, really, he's got to take this chance. If this goes 12 apiece, I'm not sure whether I can see Ali winning the match. He's got a couple of open red tea. He could go into them near the pink and just open up a few more. Played on the loose one. Well, again, these sort of situations, you want to try and keep it as simple as possible. And he's probably looking to just pick these off and work them. Seventeen. Work to be done with these reds. Might go into them here, but there's a little gap. I hope it doesn't go through it. Nearly. Yeah, but that's okay. I just thought the way things have gone so far, I'm thinking he might find the gap here. Well, it's in his hands now. There's plenty of reds to go out here. And it's all about just holding yourself together, Ali, for the next few minutes. But this has turned out to be a great match between these two. Well, he's so close to that last four slot. And uh, Jamie's just wondering whether he'll, he'll get back to the table here. He's done so well to get back into this match. But uh, with the tension on, anything can happen. 40. Play that shot, he could stun down for the one there, it's the blue. 47. He could get himself onto the brown or the green here, could do a little bit of clearing up at that end. Well, that's probably why he didn't play on one of those, he played on this one instead. They will go to the middle, but. It's a little bit tight there to go to the corner. And he's played on the brown or the green. Green would be easier for the clearance later, but well, he won't need the clearance because he would have uh, got himself over the line by then. It's like the brown. 50. That finishing line is getting a little nearer. 40 points the difference. But still 67 52. on the table, still a way to go. Well, we've seen a lot already this evening in this match in the last two or three frames. Uh, there can't be another twist, can there? Oh, 
53. He needs to try and... Oh, Jamie's just hoping that he might get another chance here, but I'm not sure. Can Ali just screw across the face of these reds to the... Take one into the left middle. Just needs this red and a colour. But he was within a red and a colour in that last frame, Mike, before it all went wrong and he found himself angled. Hmm. Well, just pushed through the other red here, I think. I'll stun beyond it. Oh, yes, well played. This pink is now frame and match ball. This is a great contribution here from Ali Carter, considering the pressure that Jamie has put on him. You might see a little bit of a reaction off him here when this goes in. No, nope, nothing. Mm. 66. Well, after this one, we might. Because he's definitely into the semi-final if this red goes in. But every credit to Jamie Jones. He's there. 67. He's in the last four. And that man will be sad. He shouldn't be, even in defeat, Mike. He shouldn't be. There'll be a lot of people very impressed by what they've seen from him here. Ali is into his third World Championship semi-final. Of course, on one of those two previous occasions in 2008, he made it to the final against Ronnie O'Sullivan. No, sir. 73. A 73, enough to see Ali Carter over the line at last. A brave effort from Jamie Jones, taking three frames off Ali when Ali was one short at 12-8. An absorbing match, some big breaks, some great contests in the frames between the two of them. But at the end of the day, the number 17 seed, Ali Carter, has defeated the debutant, Jamie Jones, by 13 frames to 11. He meets Stephen Hen uh, Maguire in the semis. Well, Ali Carter, it is then in the last four against Stephen Maguire tomorrow. The other semi-final, of course, is Ronnie O'Sullivan and Matthew Stevens. There are some of these statistics. Ali, just...